My previous tutorials showed how to make histograms and so this is going to show how to make uh, line graphs and I'll use a different kind of data for this. This is a set of data that represents um, changes in temperature and corresponding changes in enzyme activity and I've got four replicates here in fact I'll highlight them there. Um, at zero degrees we've got four values we want to get the average for it and also its standard deviation and do the same for all the other temperatures. Now this is continuous data and what by that I mean that there is a reasonable expectation that you should be able to figure out what the value for five degrees is even though it wasn't ex explicitly uh, identified and again we see there are data points between 50 and 80 that we didn't measure but there would be data for them that would be consistent with the trends shown in there. The tricky part about this is we're going to call this a line graph that's a very common term for this kind of a graph but Excel is going to call it a scatter graph but I'll get to that in just a minute. Um, let's start this tutorial with just figuring out average and standard deviation and I'll make a separate um, video showing how to do the actual graphs. So let's figure out the average we can just type in equal sign the word average open parenthesis and then paint just these four values just like this one two three four close the parenthesis and then hit enter and that's our average and you can click on this value drag on that little handle see there's a little box and if you move your mouse over it turns into a black plus sign instead of the large white plus sign and if you pull it straight down we've got averages for all of those now this little warning flag is saying well you grab data but you didn't grab this one over here but that's not part of the enzyme activity information it would be incorrect to take an average that included a zero point there or a ten point there so just ignore the warning just for now it's uh, Excel trying to help you now let's use another way to get a formula in here. You could just type equal STDEV, that's the abbreviation in Excel for standard deviation. But if you forgot that, you can just click in the cell where you want the data to go, click on FX, and then uh, choose the function. It's right here, standard deviation, but you could type it in to find, have it find it for you. STDEV, and hit enter and then it'll fill in the boxes to kind of show you what we have. We've got other things there. If you click on one it'll tell you what it does and this tells us it's looking for the proper standard deviation so we can be happy with that. So let's double click to choose that. Notice Excel says oh let me help you out. I'll grab all the data to the left. Well that's good. We've got the four values we want but we don't want the temperature and we don't want the average. So let's redefine it by left clicking in the first box and holding the left mouse button down dragging this over the different cells so that all four replicates are there. I've let go of the left mouse button and it persists like that and hit enter and there you go standard deviation. Grab the little handle pull down and there we have it and ignore that little flag right there. So just for fun I'm going to highlight the standard deviation like I did last time as yellow or the average is yellow and the standard deviation I'll highlight as pink and I will make another tutorial that shows you how to make a line graph out of this. So you might want to take a look at the histogram uh, demonstration I do to show what you do when your data are vertically displayed by trial. This is kind of rotating things to give you another perspective on how to do it.